Okay, so let's talk about the MacBook Air battery life. How many battery life cycles can you get? What exactly is a battery life cycle anyway? And how do you keep your battery healthy or try to? So when it comes to battery information, there's a lot of you know information out there on the web. If you Google it, you look at videos, and a lot of it is anecdotal. And of course, I'm gonna tell you my own experience in this video as well. But before we do that, let's actually go to the op official Apple source, and I'll leave a link of this below and find out exactly what a battery life cycle is according to Apple, right? So according to them, it says, look, when you use your MacBook's uh, notebook, its battery goes down through charge cycle. Cycle happens when you use all the battery power, but that does not mean in a single charge. That's the important bit, right? So they give an example, you say, look, you could use half of the notebook's battery in a day, recharge it fully, and if you did that the next day, then that would count as a single cycle, not two cycles. So that's pretty important to understand. So as far as battery cycles are concerned, let's just look at it one more time. Uh, what Apple is telling us is if you charge a battery 100% and then discharge it to zero, that's a cycle. But then equally, if you charge it 50%, then discharge it 50%, then recharge it 50%, and let it drain again to zero, then that is also just one cycle, not two. So basically what they're saying, look, don't worry too much about the point at which you plug it in or plug it out. Otherwise, it's, you, know, you might start worrying that because you want to conserve the number of cycles, you have to charge it all the way to 100% every time and then drain it all the way back to zero before you plug it back in. What this is saying is, don't worry about that. Let the machine keep track of the cycles. You use your laptop as you see fit. And if you do this, what Apple says is that the laptop battery is gonna last, it's rated for 1,000 cycles. All modern MacBooks since at least seven, eight years, including the current versions, the M1 versions, uh, they promise 1,000 cycles according to this definition. And even after 1,000 cycles, the battery doesn't actually go away. They say, look, the battery will retain 80% capacity at the end of 1,000 cycles. Uh, now, that's a lot of cycles, right? <laughs> I mean, if you, even if you go through a cycle every day, that's close to two and a half, almost three years. And so basically, this seems to indicate that you don't have to worry about uh, your battery at all. But uh, wait. Because at this point, I'd like to show you uh, how my own experience has been. And uh, I've had this laptop for just over a year. So let's just say 400 days. And if I now go into about this Mac and I go to system report and I go to the uh, power tab right here, it tells me the number of cycles and my cycle count is right now at 79. Now this is consistent with the definition, right? So I've used it for about 400 years and I use it, uh, sorry, 400 days, not years. And I use it practically almost every day and I sort of plug it in, plug it out all the time. Uh, I generally am very careless about that. I don't sort of do anything fancy in terms of how to plan my charging or discharging. And the cycle count is 79 because it's adding up according to that definition. So in terms of complete drains and fulls, the equivalent of 79 cycles have happened. So that's all to the good. But notice also that the maximum capacity at this point is 91%. Now, this laptop is supposed to last 1,000 uh, cycles. And after 1,000 cycles, the capacity should be at 80%. But if after 79, it's already at 91%, then clearly we are not on that path. Now, one could argue that perhaps the battery drops faster initially and then it'll level out, so it might well last a thousand uh, cycles. Um, we'll see. I mean, I, I really can't uh, tell you because we haven't gotten to that point yet, but, but clearly don't expect the battery sort of to last in sync with the cycle count. So it can actually drop to 90% pretty quickly. Now, my own rule of thumb, and I'm on my third laptop, uh, third uh, MacBook, I should say. I've been using them for 10, 12 years is that typically the battery goes to around 80% in about two and a half to three years of usage, right? That's been my experience, and this is consistent with that. So one year, I'm at 90%. Next year, probably my cycle count will be 150, but the battery will probably be closer to 85% or 80% and thereabouts. And then in the fourth year, it starts to drop below that. So clearly, um, your charging pattern, your usage behavior, can make a difference to how sort of this thing pans out. Now let's actually go in there and look at uh, the battery health directly in the uh, in the system preferences. And if I go there, um, and if I go to the battery and the battery health, it'll show you the same thing. Battery is normal. It is at 91% of its capacity, right? Uh, so why is this, right? I've got theories about it based upon my own 12 years of experience. Uh, one of the things, couple of things actually uh, do impact it, right? So one is temperature. So if you, you know, if, if, if very high temperatures are going to impact battery life irrespective of the cycles. And so if you use it outdoors, and my usage can be a little uh, up and down in terms of temperature a little bit, and perhaps my own theory is that that is impacting. Also, it is advised in spite of the cycle thing, this is not a cycle thing, but the battery should not be sort of remaining at 100% uh, 
um, for long periods of time. That 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 is not uh, considered optimal, and so that's why a lot of modern phones and laptops will actually not charge your battery to 100%. They will charge it around 98, 97%, and that's automatically taken care of. So some of these things do matter in the end, but really, in, you know, there's, there's a lot of factors going on, and the best that you can do, and my advice at this point, so this is sort of my experience, and now my advice would be, look, let the let 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 the OS take care of everything for you, right? So when you first get your Mac, if I just click restore defaults, these are the settings which are done, right? Slightly dim the battery, but this is the important one, optimized battery charging. And it says, to, <clears throat> it says to reduce battery aging, your Mac learns from your daily charging routine, so it can wait to finish past 80% until you need to use it on the battery. And this I have noticed, right? So if I sort of always take it off charging at a fixed time, so if I'm in the mornings, I'm plugged in, and in the afternoon, I tend to walk away and go to a different room. Then even if I leave it plugged in at all the time, it will not charge. It will learn this behavior, and then it will not charge to 100%. It will keep it at around the 80% level automatically. And just before my scheduled time for moving away from the desk comes in, it will start charging. So I have still got 80 uh, sorry, 90% or 95% by the time I'm ready to walk away from my desk. And so it's pretty smart about this. I think till a few generations ago, this was not the case. But right now, I would just leave this checked on and not worry about it at all. Um, also, you, you know, you can do the optimized video streaming. You also have the slow power mode, in which case if you are on battery and uh, it will reduce the energy usage to increase the battery life, basically it throttles the machine a little bit. I don't like this too much because if you are running out of battery, then, then you do need it, but it's hidden away so deep in the settings that I can't quickly toggle it on or off. If it was a toggle up here, and maybe they will do it in a future version, then that'll be very handy, like a phone, uh, like it's the case on iPhones. But right now, it's, it's so sometimes I would just switch it on and then forget to switch it off, and then I wonder, you know, why performance has, has lowered. And so typically, I don't use it that much. But basically, uh, if you just stick with the defaults, you're going to be okay. And uh, let 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 the OS take care of your battery. And like I said, my experience has been that it'll last you well into three years. The other thing about the M1 specifically is that the initial battery life is extremely good, right? So I regularly get 10 hours out of this thing um, without a problem. And so if I look at my usage history right now, um, you can see that I'm currently at around 46%. And if I add up all these things, that's about five hours. And so I'll probably get another five hours out of it easily. I'm at half brightness. I've used a mix of uh, some coding, browsing, video streaming, this uh, recording thing that I'm doing right now, you know, it just lasts me 10, 10, 11 hours easily of, uh, of screen on time. And currently, of course, it's at 90% uh, battery health, as, as you've noticed. So given the initial long battery life, given the fact that the Mac optimizes the battery itself, given the fact that the definition of a cycle is not complete discharge and recharge anyways, my best advice based upon my 12 years of usage uh, on MacBooks is don't worry about the battery health in terms of how you charge it and discharge it, right? Let the OS take care of it. It's pretty smart. Probably your battery will be fine for about three years. Um, you will probably drop down to around 80%, which in the case of an M1 Mac, because you started at around 11, maybe even 12 hours, depending on your usage, would still be eight hours or so. Even if it drops to um, less than that, you'll still get seven, eight hours after four years, which is pretty good because you know a generation ago, that used to be the entire battery life. This is a laptop, use it like a laptop, walk away if you wanna walk away, come back to your desk, plug it in, and keep all the default battery uh, settings there, and let the OS do its thing, all right? Don't stress about it, enjoy the MacBook that you have. That's my advice, but like I said in the beginning, it is anecdotal, and so I'm just adding my two cents worth to it. But I'm hoping you found this useful, at least now you understand what battery cycles are, if you didn't know before, and how to sort of set the settings to, and just leave them alone in order to get the maximum out of your battery life. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.